Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about how to use the Flutter Fire UI for Firebase application in Flutter and also we'll be setting it up using the Flutter Fire CLI. I'll be releasing more videos like this, more tutorials like this, so please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So to get started, we need to set up Firebase and to do that, let's head to the Flutter Fire website, which is firebase.flutter.dev. You can click on the get started button and scroll down a bit. Here it says to start the installation, we need to add the Firebase call. So Flutter pop add Firebase call. And then I'll scroll down a bit. Flutterfire configure. If you don't have Flutterfire installed, you need to run this command. But I already have it installed, so I'll just go ahead and run Flutterfire configure. So we create a new project. We needed to take in, we need to create for Android and iOS. We don't need Mac and web right now. So Okay, so that is all. Now we should have a Firebase options file, which has all our configuration it needs. So initialization, we need to initialize Firebase using this code. And of course, we need to make it asynchronous. Import Firebase core, also import Firebase options. Dot that that was just generated just now. So like, just like that, we've already been able to to set up our Firebase. We don't need to add file, add the plist file or the JSON file. If you, if you want to do that, you need to go through the manual installation boards. We are not doing that in this tutorial, we're using the CLI method. Now that we have our Firebase set up and initialized, we can go ahead and add the Firebase, the, the Firebase authentication plugin and also the Flutterfire, Flutterfire UI plugins. So we can head back to the Flutterfire website and go to authentication. Scroll down to installation. Flutter pop add. Or oh, we can actually also just check out the package on pop.dev. That also works. Add it manually. And then we need the Flutterfire UI plugin also. Okay, so both have been, has been added now. I would like to run pop.get. Okay, everything is fine. 
So now the next thing will be to actually start coding. So to start our coding, I already created a few files that we're going to use along the, along the line, like the home page, the login page, and the auth gates. So the first, the home of our material app is the auth gate. Basically what the auth gate is supposed to do, uh, it's supposed to, supposed to check if the user is authenticated, then it serves us the home page. But if it's not, if the user is not authenticated, it basically serves us the login page. So let's start working on this. So to start this, we need this, we need this stream builder. The Firebase authentication, the Firebase auth plugin gives us a stream called the alt state change. The alt auth state changes, which basically returns null if the user is not authenticated and it returns a user object if the user is authenticated. So we're going to be making use of this. So here we check if the snapshots as data on the turn on page else take this out to the login page okay so this is the first step now we can move to Now we can move to the login page. The login page we have to start by creating by using a scaffold. And this scaffold is at a bar. And let's just put in a title. Well it's off screen. Okay, let's run our app for now and see what we what we have. Okay, so we get an error it says um dependencies were found, but they require a target, I have minimum deployment target. If you get this, all you need to do is to go to your port file and increase this from nine point zero to. 10.0 so now we run again
Okay, so now it basically routed us to, basically took us to the login page as promised. Now in our body, we need to use a, a widget called the sign-in screen. So basically let's go to Flutterfire widget catalog. Flutterfire UI widget catalog. So it's the sign-in screen, a, a screen displaying a full styled sign-in flow for authentication. So this is basically a widget that displays like a full styled sign-in flow and it's very, very customizable. At the provider conf configuration, we need the email provider configuration here. So now when we re reload this, we basically we basically get an entire signing form right here without having to create our own button, create our own text field or anything. And it's highly customizable. It also, it also comes with a register page, a register page and also a forgot password. So everything is right there for you with very, very mini, mini, minimal effort. So now we have this, but there's still one thing we need to do. We need to enable the email and password login from, from our Firebase console. Firebase console. Uh, so this, this is the project that got created for us from the CLI and come to authentication. Get started. Email and password enable. Save. And now that we have the email and password enabled from our console, we can try registering and signing, signing up a user and signing in into the app. So when we come to register, we can try test user at gmail.com, for example, password, password. So basically that was successful, but it's showing us a black page because we've not implemented our own page yet. So we can come here to the own page, to own page dot that and work on our own page. So going back to the Photofire UI catalog, there is also a widget called um, the profile. Okay, it's not here. But it's basically the profile profile screen. Email password configuration. And also we can our avatar size and give it like 70 or zero. So when we save this, we get a full-fledged profile page without having to do all those things on our own. Uh, we can add a name. So the signing method for this user is email and password. You can delete accounts and also there is a logout button. So let's tap the logout button and see. It takes us back to the to the authentication screen, the, the login screen. We we'll go go to our Firebase console. We'll refresh this. You can see the user has been created. We didn't have to create our own text field. We didn't have to create anything on our own. And this is, like I said, this is very very customizable. So yeah, I think, I think that's 
that basically concludes this tutorial for today please like and subscribe for more thank you very much bye